gosh. Okay. I'll donate another BT. I'll donate another 20 if you can go five minutes without saying, um, but you have to keep talking. Oh my gosh. This is going to be really hard, but I can do it. Um, Over. Welcome back to Streamers Reloaded. My name is Tom and let's get right into it. First off, we got Soda Poppin' who shit himself while he was drunk live doing his Japan vlogs. Oh, <laughs> I really, I think we should get you home maybe. Next up, we got Ice Poison and we got a little bit of news for him this week. So first off, he accidentally went live. And during this accidental live stream, he was doing some sponsored content for an app. Of course, you know, he was playing the app, showing people how to play it, and then hopefully get his viewers to download the app and he would get paid for it, of course. And what you see, a lot of streamers have this thing where they have a key bind on their keyboard to start streaming. And my guess here is Ice Poseidon accidentally clicked that and went live. And here's the clip. Time runs out. We're going to try and... Oh, wait, the dungeon rocks and we're gonna try and These finish it. Hey, you're live, you're live. And then next up, Ice walks into a store and uh, this lady drops all her stuff on the floor. Ice helps her pick it all up. And then this woman starts blaming Ice for stealing her credit card. Check this out. My client is claiming that she dropped her credit card and that you had picked it up. Do you have her credit card? Did I, she's saying I stole her credit card? I don't, I'm asking if you picked it up for her. No, I did not. Okay. Hi. So you asked, why did you ignore me? Uh, because... You know that's not okay. Oh, okay. It's really offensive, and now I can't find my credit card. Oh, so I... what's going on? No, but I can't find it now. Can you erase... Where was your credit card at? Can you erase my video right now, or I'm going to get call the cops on Was you. your credit card in the box? I'm asking you for a Well, I can't erase the video with live. Excuse me? I mean, a little bit. I mean, I'm sorry, but a little Wait, bit. Wait, who are you? Uh, Ice Poseidon. Nice what? to meet you. Yep. Who are you? I'm um, famous. I don't care how famous you are. Who are you? Yeah. Ice Poseidon. Okay. Ice what? <laughs> Poseidon. Okay. I'm sorry. This, this is not about famous. Listen, I want you to understand how you made me feel. How, what? How, sorry. How did I make you feel? I'm Thank here you. for you. Thank you. I'm, I'm sorry. So I walk into a store and I get videotaped right away without asking permission. Okay, here. Yeah, absolutely. So do you have your ID on you? No, oh yeah, actually I do have my wallet now, I do. Oh good. Put on black makeup and I have the cops on me. Uh, sorry? Uh, what's with the mask? I, honestly, I'm, don't even mind the mask. Don't even mind that. Don't, you know what's suspicious is when someone says, don't even mind the mask. So I'm doing a live stream and okay. one of my viewers gave me the mask. Okay. Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Ma'am. Hello. Out of the street. I feel fine. I'm, I'm on camera all day. Out of the street. Fine. I'm on camera all day. It's fine. Talk to you afterwards. Well, can you step down there? I'll talk to you afterwards. Where did I deal? I'm on camera all day. Do you think that's going to bother me? What the hell? Uh, I don't know. Triggered. Triggered person in Beverly Hills calls police? I don't know. She, uh, she thinks I stole her card or something. Her credit card. Her credit card? On, live on video. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I really couldn't tell you. Okay. I mean, I guess she's very uncomfortable because she thinks I stole her card. Uh -huh. But that's just not true. I mean, you could uh, Google the richest man in LA. Who's going to come up? I mean, who do you think? Thank you for cooperating and everything. So, unfortunately, Sephora says that you cannot enter the location anymore. Oh, God damn it. I, oh, this is my favorite store. Okay, let me call a new Uber. Yeah, okay, I'm banned from the store. No, this is my favorite store in the world. Yeah, okay, great. Let's fucking call an Uber then. Woo! Finally, Ice also gets exposed by Greek. You know? Oh. Ice Poseidon has over 300,000 in one of his bank accounts. <laughs> and he just pretends he doesn't have money because he gets it from you suckers. As well as he's been evicted again, which means being kicked out of his house. Because here's the thing. This guy wants to evict me for no... Well, he says... He didn't give a reason. He just said I was a nuisance. So, and he gave me three days. 
Next up, we have a girl streamer who goes by the name Tigress X, who got banned for fraudulent activity. Now, she tweeted out about why she got banned, and uh, and she's made a whole twit longer about this, but I'm going to try to summarise it as much as I can. So, on her channel, she does giveaways, and to enter these giveaways, you have to be subscribed. So, what people were doing was they were creating Twitch Prime accounts and then subscribing to her to get entries into this giveaway. And then straight after they got put into the giveaway, they would cancel the subscription therefore not charging their credit card. The problem with this is this girl is still getting the money from the Twitch Prime sub but there's no money actually going into Amazon or Twitch so for this reason she has been banned. But what she also says here is that this technically is not her fault she had no control over people doing this. Loads of people on Twitch do giveaways and it's just because someone did this to her that she's been banned. I should also point out that the ban is permanent. Next up we got Asian Andy who was getting changed in his car and I guess he really didn't realize that you know Windows work just like mirrors with reflections and well, yeah. It's all good though, he was streaming on YouTube, not Twitch, so there really isn't any ban involved or anything. Next up we have Joe Never Fails, which is Pocket's boyfriend, who is also a Twitch streamer. And this week they had a little bit of drama go down because they broke up and where well, you see Pocket called the cops on him. Check this clip out. I got three cops in my house right now and it's an unbelievably dramatic situation, so apologize to everybody. Hope you guys all have a great day, a great Friday. I'm not going to be on my computer this weekend. I'm not going to have access to my computer probably until Monday or Tuesday. But I'm, I'm, I've got three cops in my house telling me to leave my fucking apartment right now because my girlfriend is crazy. So I hope you guys have a fucking great night. Have a great Friday. Enjoy your friends and family. Don't ever forget with a little bit of passion, a lot of hard work, you two can never fail at whatever you want to do. This is also again a little bit strange because they are now streaming again with no problem. So it looks like they fixed whatever the problem was, but it's just a little bit weird the way that this was handled. Next up we got So Illuminati, which decided to go on Omegle last night, and I'm I'm sure it's it's no secret to anyone that you just shouldn't go on Omegle on Twitch. It never works out the way you want it to. But he did go on Omegle, and then uh yeah. Check out the clip. Oh, shit! Oh, shit. Next up, we got the girl streamer Hill Donator, which yesterday was doing a 24 hour stream. She was doing just crazy stuff throughout the day, played a few video games, but the stream only averaged around 30 viewers. And well, today she has been banned. Now, I have no idea as to why. I can't really find out the reason. She doesn't have a Twitter or anything where she's tweeted out about it. But this is a clip from the stream from yesterday, and it might have something to do with it, but I highly doubt it. In leaked news, first off we got Missy Pones, who entire Patreons last month, Patreon pics have been leaked, they are not nude, but they are lewd, and there's around 25 of them, so the I, I, my guess is the entire album. As well as that, the Twitch streamer Maria Lin has got her entire Patreon leaked, and it's all been put onto a Reddit page. She hasn't taken it down herself, so she doesn't really have a problem with it, I'm guessing. Next one comes from a streamer who goes by the name Climate One, of which he was doing sort of the same thing that Ice Poseidon would do, where he goes out on the streets, just speaks to random people, and does some weird thing. But this guy, what he was doing, he was going on the street and sort of harassing people. I'm really surprised he has not received a ban or a warning or anything from this, especially the way he was acting in this scenario. Anyway guys, check out the clip. Look you faggot, you can't do shit. It's public. It's public. Oh no, oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. What the hell, I'm 15. I'm 15, I didn't do anything. I'm 15. Bro, I'm 15, what the hell, I didn't do anything. Fuck. 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 And for the final two stories of today, first off we got Dr. Disrespect Live who hit 1 million followers, which makes him the 36th account on Twitch to hit 1 million followers. And finally the YouTube streamer Hampton Brandon got hit by a car. Check the clip out, it's really short. Get more 